Well, let me tell you a story of Jenny. Jenny is a client of mine. She's very smart. She's hardworking. She's always working. She's always on call, and her team has consistently been rated one of the top performers in the company globally. So everything seems to be going really, really well for her. Her boss loves her. Thought that she is going to be doing really well within the company, continue to progress as a leader. But there is a problem. So two years in a row, she's not getting the promotion. So her company actually brought me in to work with her. And after 360 interviews, I help her identify some of her key areas that her blind spots of which she needs to work on. And then we develop a plan. Every day, now she's working on the plan. What are some of the key elements of the plan? Number one, she needs to show up, communicate strategically. Okay, so we work on her communication skills. And number three is that she is much more aware now about her body language. Okay, so that when however she disagrees or something comes up, that she actually instead of making that expression, she actually change her behavior, change her body uh, body language, and she communicates that effectively. The core competencies for leaders, okay? And a lot of times are things that we may or may not be aware that we're demonstrating that can be holding us back. There is an opportunity out here for all of us. And how do we capitalize and capture those opportunities is something that we want to explore today.